Hi everyone. Each cloud provider uses the IAM, Identity and Access Management Services, to describe their collection of services and APIs to managing access and authorization for um, their cloud resources. In Azure, the act, like Azure Active Directory is known as an Identity and Access Management Service. In this video lesson, we'll go through mm -hmm. like Azure Identity and Access Management. I, there are many components, but here I'll mainly focus on uh, user groups and roles. So let's go through that one. First, connect to the Azure portal. Click on Azure Active Directory. You can click from uh, the side um, pane or you can click search button. You can search for Azure Active Directory. Then you see that here, user, click user uh, plus new user to create a new user. Here, there are two options, create user and invite user. So we are going to create a new user, give a username. This is identity section. Next section is password. Here you can put auto generated or you can put let me create a password. So here I am just using myself so that I can add that one. Easy to remember. Then next section groups and roles. Uh, right now no groups are defined. Use location. And here, job information. Give a job title, department name, company name. And then here you can also select manager, but for now I'm just ignoring that one. And that is done. Click create. So you see that user is created. If you click the user now, here is the user's profile. From here, you can um, let me assign a role for this particular user. So we are going to assign user administrator role so that this user can um, create or do um, task on uh, user like user create user delete or assigning different roles for that user. So here you can see the details here. Now. Um, Let's open a second window. To reset password, we can click reset password here. And using not a user principal name that we are going to use to create um, like connection. So here I open a separate incognito window. Passing the username. Password. Click sign in. Because this is first login, so it will ask to update password.
Now from here, try to create a, a, a new user because this EAYMD user has got um, uh, permission to create a new user. Pass all the user details. You can see the domain name is there, the default domain name. going to for learning purpose I'm just mm, ignoring this part and I don't need that okay now let's put some information there okay So you can see user is created. Now go back to um, like other session. To see the details of that the demo user. Now, what we are going to do, we are going to force um, user to uh, like uh, multi-factor authentication. So, we have to enable that to require raised multi-factor authentication for that particular user. Now, if we connect to that EAYMD user, it will prompt you for to set up multi-factor authentication. So you see here uh, got a message that um, is start um, setting up. So first we need to download Microsoft Authenticator app. After downloading, uh, we need to scan this app which will um, prompt some code. So from your device, after getting the code, pass the code here. Now notification app to click next. Now we need to give the mobile number or device number next so verification is done so next time you do not need to set that up again because uh, this user is already verified so next time you can from your mobile you can get the uh, code and you can pass that for verification So this part is mainly to um, how you can set up uh, multi-factor authentication.
Now let's uh, try to create a group. So um, uh, under group type, you see that um, there are two options, security and Microsoft 365. We are going to consider security and give a group name. Maybe group description. And from here, membership type, there are three options. So I'm going to create dynamic user for now. So after that, you see that um, membership type. I'm going to use dynamic user and then add dynamic uh, like dynamic membership rules so here I'm going to um, set up rules based on there are different options you can select but for now I'm going to select job title and equal not equal so equals and give a role like cloud admin cloud engineer here and here's that click on add expression so it will add that one you can see that uh, rule syntax down below box so you can validate that one that rules also from here it's preview option so we can add a user for validating that one so we assign that cloud engineer to a ymd so we are selecting that one and click on validate now if we click the view details we can see that that's validation details is successful now save this one click let's create um, uh, another group here Oh, okay, refresh the page and you can see the group name here. So click around the group. So here we can put a um, condition based on uh, different criteria or different property. So you can edit the name so I'm going to change the name to direct admin as an example yeah so instead of dynamic user this time I'm going to just select assigned and no member selected so when I select a no member so when you select no member from right side to blade if I say add member there is the option that you can search for um, all the group we already created and we can select that one from here we can also select user but for now um, let's go with this one um, select item and click select click create 
So you see that a group um, has been created. We need to refresh the page. So here we can see those two groups that um, we created. Now let's create a okay first we can try to assign a user to a group so click on demo user and if you go here group uh, you said that no group is assigned you are going to assign the membership but the thing is that because um, there is a criteria we define that one to match so if it does not match we cannot assign that one so we need to make sure that um, we put um, like condition correct so in that case we may consider based on username or id So let's create a guest user. So here is that in that case we are going to invite a user so that um, as a guest user. pass all the details and some messages. There are some restriction with the guest user that um, a guest user cannot browse the directory and um, guest user also cannot um, browse users, groups or service principal to assign the roles. So you can see top left successfully invited user top right hand corner now that user will get in get an email like this that uh, microsoft invitation on behalf of the directory and down below there is an option for accept invitation you click that one It will open invitation page. From that page, you can accept or cancel. So click on accept. So case to education is done. So please note that case to user cannot browse the directory or guest user cannot uh, browse any user group or service principal to assign roles. So now let's go through roles. For that, first we go to resource group, then here you see that um, uh, access control IAM, click that button, after that click on add and add role assignment. So here we can select a role. So we are going to select some role. Let's select virtual machine contributor. 
So for that we can search here. From this rule assignment page, we can assign to user group or service principal but from members we are selecting members so if you see here from here we can select a group like director admin or it digital architect or we can select also a particular user so we have selected them and here you see that group and user so we can select individual user or individual group click review and assign so role assignment is in progress and because it's already in that far we are getting that message because last time during our test we already assigned a um, uh, group there other group so from here let's go to user level we can delete user so we are going to delete that one Now here, you can see that which um, access one user has got that one. Um, so when that is created, uh, when some user um, was active, we can get all those information. And as you roll assignments, you can get that on which is role and which resource group we can get those information. And profile section, if we click that profile, that user sign in, so we can get information when um, user last sign in or um, user's activities. you can download the data let's go back to reset password we can click reset password like if user forget his password we can reset password as an admin and provide the information to the end user and we can revoke session by clicking the book sessions option and let's go back we see this particular user here why okay now disable multi-factor authentication so revoke multi-factor authentication so you can see that um, successfully revoked multi-factor authentication for that EAYMD user So now let's um, remove from all the resources um, to reduce um, the cloud consumption. So here I'm going to remove um, um, the resource groups which I used for uh, roles creation. I'm going to remove resource groups. So you see the message top right hand corner. If we go back, let's refresh that one. This is deleted.
Now from here, let's delete groups and users. So that membership type is assigned and dynamic. So maybe it doesn't still let's say here yeah, it is going to delete it. So it's successfully deleted. We'll take a little time. Now going to now delete user click on delete user click ok so user successfully deleted so that's it i think i hope you mm, have got a very good idea how azure im works this is the basic you can play more on this thank you thanks for watching